Hello everyone, welcome back to Bendy in the Dark Revival. Last time we left off, we made it to the gent workshop, dodging every single keeper there, and we got tackled by a keeper, and now we woke up on a train with Wilson right in front of us. So let's continue. Let's stand. What's up, Wilson? You got something to say? Quit staring at me like that. Hey, let's get my shock pipe. Or gent pipe. Okay. Alright, signal tellers are nearby. Abilities have been disabled. Well, I guess we're utterly useless now. We cannot flow, we cannot do anything. But, we can look at the keeper without being attacked. I will stand in front of you. I will not keep moving. Okay, fine. You, you're just... Alright, let's take a picture! Who is being tortured? Ooh, a note! Old Track 77 is a quiet place these days. Ever since that terrible crash a few years back, people don't like to hang around. Too many strange things keep happening on this platform. Last week, one of the railmen told me they had reports of some train going through that wasn't on the schedule. There were figures standing in the car staring through the windows, but it never stopped to let no one off. Just kept on going straight through. Some say it was the Silverland Express, the train that crashed. Kitty Thompson. Let's see what this keeper's doing over here. What the? Why are you torturing this poor soul? All right, let's head up the stairs. Hello, Wilson. What do you have to say? The demon's evil continues to spread. Oh, I thought you killed the demon. Oh, he's speaking to us. Be quiet. What did you say? <laughs> it was nothing. Almost there. Just a quick stop. Won't take but a moment. Okay, Wilson. I don't like how you want me to go up here, Wilson. Checkpoint. Weapons aren't allowed beyond this point. Please place all weapons contained ink on the holding desk to the right. The okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, don't yell at me. Okay, chill. Okay, I'm gonna take that axe and Tommy gun. Remain still for examination. Okay, quit straining your voice. You're gonna hurt yourself. Ain't this a beautiful sight? At least we got some color. Wilson, the man who killed the ink demon. Ah, there he is. He just teleported. Well, thank you. How do you like my signal towers? I don't. They nullify the ink demon's powers so he cannot pass them. Well, you're so I safe. I wish I could say I invented them, but it seems our friends at the Gent Corporation had a demon problem of their own long ago. Well, it seems like they're geniuses, apparently. You're not a genius, Wilson. This painting goes pretty hard, though. It's tough. I like it. All right, what do you have to say? And now, my dear, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later, I promise. Okay. Besides, you must be very tired. Oh, absolutely exhausted. Will do you good. Betty will show you to your room. She's my housekeeper, among uh, other things. Hey, Betty, what's up? You never actually killed the ink demon, did you? No. He's too powerful. No, because we seen him with our own eyes. Sealed him away, trapped him in a different form, one that was smaller, harmless. Bendy. It was a fitting prison, although he seems to have found a way to free himself. But enough talk. We'll deal with that soon enough. There's some nice fresh blankets all laid out for you. Awesome. You'll be dreaming in no time. Appreciate Wait, it, Betty. Wilson, one more thing. If you needed my help, why didn't you just ask? <sighs> Would you have believed me? No. Come along, and no more dawdling. At least he's self-aware. Wow, getting oh, treated yeah. like a princess. So exciting, finally having you with us. 
Now, to give you some bearings, we're currently standing in the south wing. Wilson's laboratory. Is What's the north space. wing? Is there a north wing? Then there's the north wing. Oh, there is. What what's the north wing about? Why do you seem all distraught about it? Ink demon got in there a while ago. Ah. But ever since, we've had to keep the north wing locked up tight. I'm afraid it's fallen into ruins by now. All those juicy Hey, let my buddy chill in this place. It's oh, his domain after all. These days, and they'll tear you apart limb from limb if Wilson isn't with you. So, mind your distance. I'll your kill the keepers. Okay, I, this is taking too uh, Especially one I can actually talk to. Yeah. Everyone here either can't speak or they're completely mad. That's this world nowadays, isn't it? Doesn't even have to be in the ink world. All right. Here we are. Best room in the house. Ooh. Amazing. See where I sleep. <laughs> Ew. This room. Oh, just perfect. I saw to every detail. Bed is clean. The bathroom is on the left. Cool. Sorry about the stains. What stains? Uh, do we do we go to bed? What? Do I talk to you? Did you have any questions? No. Is it always night here? Ugh. It's always dark, if that's what you mean. For as long as I can remember. Are you very old? No. As far as I understand it, I'm something quite new. Although... Why hide your face? Turn out the way I was supposed to. Oh. One in a long line of failed experiments. You seem pretty chill. But I wouldn't say failed. Keep trying. And do you trust Wilson? <sighs> this is the realm of the Ink Demon. The shadow hangs over us all. I don't trust anyone. But Wilson takes care of me. Keeps me safe. He once said I remind him of something he called his mother. Interesting. Tell me, is that a good thing? Where you two are from? Yes. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't think I ever had one. Well, no matter. Now, I, I was told to make sure you get some sleep once you got here. So get nice and comfy and relax. I left something on the table that might just help you nod off. It's my own recipe. Works very fast. Hmm. Just follow the instructions carefully. Thanks, Betty. Of course. If you need anything else, I'll come straight away. I'm always up. Betty, I need you! No. Alright. Uh, okay, what's this? Gilson. What's a Gilson? We're sleeping draft. Pinch of salt, cocoa powder, chamomile, soybeans, and Gilson. Mix everything in a glass and then drink with exactly three sips of water. You can read that book if you want. It's a long book. Where do we find Gilson? Hey, we got a tape. Mr. Alan Gray. A theory about spaces. Chapter 7. Spatial displacement of unknown elements. Let us imagine a long wire stretching between two points in known time. We call this length of time euphonic base. From here, we can dispel all needs of societal normalcy and all typically understood junctions of the world we know as the present. Once the euphonic base is achieved, it creates a shared understanding that there must be space around the wire that is not the wire itself. This space, a crumbly vacuum, could be in itself, a host to many wires running in as many directions as we can perceive. Using a vessel of flow, a flux break, we can escape from our wire to another wire. This allows us to not just reveal these alternate time scopes, but command them with a larger understanding 
of their existence. Further still, in theory, we can bring elements of one world into another, displacing matter into a new state regardless of the current host wire's rules. The reality and function of the elements becomes a new euphonic base. This doesn't help at all. No, it doesn't, but it's very interesting. Alright, on to the next book. Chapter 9, Simple Snacks. If you are in a hurry like I always am, you don't have time to put together a complex or large meals. Fortunately, we have some scrumptious and simple recipes that satisfy and take you no time at all to prepare. People will ask how you made these so fast, and you can just sit back and smile. Saucy Cheese Buddies Recipe. Take a loaf of leftover Italian bread and slice it into 4 inch strips. Lightly butter your bread strips on one side only and lay them face up on a baking sheet. Toast in your oven for 2 to 6 minutes at 400 degrees or until they begin to brown. Sprinkle a thick layer of mozzarella cheese over the strips and leave them in the oven for just a minute or two to melt the cheese. Remove and serve with your favorite marinara sauce or spice things up with a little ranch dressing. Quick, easy, and super tasty. Next page, chocolate bacon soup. Ooh. Nothing here. Fisherman Jeb's Fish Guide. Section 4, Fish Water Critters. Yellow Perch. If you find yourself looking for hard-fighting fish that won't rip your hands, you should look no further than the common yellow perch. This freshwater fish is always quick to bite anything they can get their jaws on. The best way to catch yourself one is to work your bait, worms, minnows, or larvae, toward the bottom of the water and guide your line back up. You don't need much seasoning when it comes time to cook it either. The flavor of the yellow perch is built right in. Good eatings. The Gilson Fish This is one strange little fish that is pretty hard to come by. The Gilson is not known to be easy to catch and will ignore most bait. To make matters worse, the Gilson can move very fast, making a rare sight. In the end, I was able to snatch me up this little guy in a very clever solution. Apparently, the Gilson is sensitive to sound vibrations and will go into shock upon hearing some sweet music. He'll crank up the tunes and this fish will be easy to grab. Crush up the Gilson into powder and stir into water for a powerful, soothing drink. So, I'm looking for... Fish? Yeah, I guess There's so. Gotta be one here somewhere. Conservatory. Oh, a fish tank. That's a fish. Yeah, let's grab it. <sighs> oh man, fast. we can't grab it. Well, look no further than the piano here. That we can play. Maybe if it was closer. We gotta push this thing if we want to kill that fish. So let's move it very closely to the fish tank. And then let's play some tunes. That did it. There we go. Looks like the fish is asleep. Yeah, let's grab the fish now. Gotcha. You can't get away from me, you little stinker. <laughs> <laughs> no acting like a child, oh, Audrey. I uh, oh, forgot the Gilson again, didn't I? And there's some already ground up in the kitchen too. Oh well. Uh, um, I'll be. Uh, I'll bring it up to your room straight away, shall I? <laughs> okay. Oh, and uh, maybe you could put Harold back in his tank. He does so hate the dry air. I can imagine. Fit all fish do. Alright, let's just return to our bedroom. That was a very pointless quest. Nothing has to be serious all the time in this world, right? There can be some fooling around. Mischievous things. Hey, it's us. Alright, let's do this thing. Now Yummy ink water. Three sips of water. One. One... Two, two, three, three. Oh, yeah. What the? Alice Angel? Crooked Alice Angel? No way. Ah. Uh. Where are we at? Just a overwhelmed. It's all right, honey. I understand. It's not every day one gets to bask in the glory. I hope you never get your part of your face back. <laughs> As Angel, to be exact. That's who I am. A sent from above. Impend in perfection. More like sent from below. Someone's jealous. Your insides torn out and tossed onto my table. Custom parts ready for my delicious harvest. And with your 
generous sacrifice. I'll be beautiful. No, you won't. But for now, let's have fun. No. Plenty of time for a bloodbath later. Ooh, how about a game? Ooh, what let's game? I'll play a game of riddles. I hate that. Can't just tell Crooked Alice no. Behind you is the door to freedom. But it will only be opened if you solve my little puzzle and return to your special chair. Then I'll throw this heavenly switch here. If you get the puzzle right, you walk away. Yay. Get it wrong. Oh, we're strapped to the electric chair. Fun. Alright, let's stand up. Let's go play a game of riddles. Alright, what do you have to say? Oh, not on the left, alright. What do you say? The rabbit never sits with the bird, but he loves the playful company of the bear. Okay. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. Gotcha. The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. All right. My friend the bear always sits next to the bird. After all, they went to school together. All right, I think I got it. So the rabbit's probably gonna be on the very left, and then the fox is gonna be on the very right, and then the bear's gonna be, like, in the middle. So rabbit's on the left, and the fox is going to be on the right, and the bear's gonna be right here, and the ra the bird is gonna be right here. So maybe? Let's see how this works. Sit. Hold on tight, honey. Here it comes. Okay. Three, two... What? Okay, we got it wrong. I'm so sorry, Audrey. Okay, so I got these middle two mixed up. So the bird's gonna be on the right side of the bear. Alright, let's switch this to the bird. And then let's switch that to the bear. Alright. Let's see. Come on. Just let it go already. There we go. <laughs> Oh, Alice, so pathetic. Got these things over here. No, you don't. Let's take our gen pipe. No, but we we won fair and skin. Whoa! Kill, 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 kill! Oh my gosh, y'all are crazy. And now let's go deactivate this giant tower. And now we got our powers back. I think we can get out of here now. So let us climb up the ladder. Ooh, a linker. Can't do anything with that yet, so that's a bit of an issue. Because I missed an upgrade capsule somewhere. Got a bunch of Alice stuff around here. Wow. Oh, she got the Tommy gun. You don't need the Tommy gun. Psycho! A psychopath. Now we gotta dodge Alice's Tommy gun. Alright, let's go! Don't shoot me! Let's get up here. Hopefully she doesn't see us. Yes, yeah, good thing we have a fully charged gem pipe because we can unlock this now. And we got access to this room. Uh oh! I think we gotta activate this to open that door that's on the camera right over there. We got a broken wall here. <gasps> Never mind, an upgrade capsule! All right, let's do our ability. All right, let's flow down here. How do we take fall damage from that? All right, let's get over here. Ouch. Let's flow up here. Ow. Oh, coffee! Yeah. Wait, where's the recharge at? I need a recharge. Oh, there it is, right here. Now let's get back up here. And then unlock it. Let's go! <laughs> she ran out of ammo. That's funny. All right, activate this now. Where's this next one at? Okay, I guess we got a banisher. 
Oh, oh, oh! We cannot die. Actually, we got some snacks over here. Oh, yummy. All right, back to full health. Now let's flow up here. You don't got me. And Alice, we're gonna banish you. Say good night. Bye bye, Alice. Oh. Don't do it. Don't drop me off the. Oh no. Ooh. We still dropped off the edge. Wow, you're so menacing. Don't do it! I have so much to live for! Oh! Hey! That looks quite familiar, doesn't it? Ha! Slain with another blade. Let's see an ending where Alice gets her face. You know, would she still be evil if she got her face? Why does this feel so familiar? Are you all right, Audrey? Because Alice, you've done it before. I cannot begin to tell you. Is that Tom? To see you. And Yo, Tom! Must be your wolf. Audrey, meet Tom. He's my protector. Yo, you gonna hate me, Tom? You both got here just in time. Now I understand why you don't like being called Alice. The machine creates many of the same forms. At least, on the outside. On the inside, we're all pretty different. Well, from now on, I'm gonna call you something other than Alice. It just doesn't suit you. Bobby. What do you have? Call her Bobby. How about Bobby? Allison. Allison. Okay. Allison Pendle. But only if you can tell me what in heaven's name you're doing in Wilson's retreat. I got kidnapped. Wilson. I almost forgot. I have to get back right away. Are you crazy? Wilson's our enemy. Do you even know him? Have you ever talked to him? I've seen what he's done. It's good enough for me. Look, it sounds like he has a plan to kill the ink demon. For good. He can't and do that. I think he can help us all. I just... I just need to go back and hear him out. Well, if it's true, you'll both need as much help as you can get. The ink demon won't go down without a fight. Tom and I will gather some of our friends. Anyone who's left. Good luck, Audrey. Thank you. You too, Allison. Mind if I take this? What? Take what? You can't have the Tommy gun. It's supposed to be mine! Oh, let's pet Tom. Are you gonna let me? <laughs> Yo. I think I'm gonna go back to that linker. Because I know I missed an ink capsule somewhere. We have one more to get. I don't know. It's not lit up. We can't. And we got another note. Beautiful people run this world. If you have brains or talent, you may just sneak through the gates. But with a pretty face, every door opens. The crowds bow to you. They ask your name. They want you to attend. They ask you how to speak. A silky voice with gorgeous lips is everyone's weak spot. I was reborn with perfection stolen from me. To get it back, I'll rip this rotted world apart. Angels are beautiful. Angels are beautiful. Alice Angel. They are beautiful for they're not missing half their face. Alright, what do we have this way? Keepers? That scared me. You bring us pain too, Ink Demon. You're not the only one who doesn't bring pain, bruh. And this... This guy's being tortured over here. Oh! Shock pipe! No! Oh no! Oh! You can't get me! Alright, I guess I gotta wait for you to do your little rounds here. Go hide in this barrel. Oh, there he is. Okay. We can charge our gent pipe. Let's do this. So we can stun the keepers if they try to hit us. And... Let's flip this. Oh my gosh. Oh. 
die! Get away from here, keeper. Alright, what does it say? Dear Alice, I don't know if you will read these notes, but I'll keep leaving them for you. I hope someday you'll understand my words and the madness will fade from your mind. In this strange and dark place, we can find light and purpose. We are not left to just wander alone, craving beauty, power, and other meaningless things. Even the heart of someone feeling incomplete can discover joy. Not lost, we're merely waiting to be found. We are so much alike, formed from the same mold. We're like sisters, you and me. I wish you comfort and the wisdom to let your heart melt into happiness. I won't give up trying to reach you before it's too late. A friend. This guy's pointing over here. Looks like we got a music box. This music box could make a good distraction if I can fix it. Yeah. Fix the music box. Alright, so we gotta find the key in the dancing figure. And there's another note here. Wow. They said he killed my lord. They said the ink demon fell. They said I was a false prophet. But I say my lord lives. But I say he will return. But I say you better watch your back, Mr. Wilson. Can I get an amen? Amen! Sammy, amen! Alright, so we gotta keep her right here. We can probably stun it. Just like that. We get through here. And we get the key. Is bro stuck? Oh, he's stuck over here. Yep, yeah, he's stuck. He is paralyzed. Yeah, we can just stand in front of these guys, and they they can't do anything about it because he's stuck. Ah! 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 Never mind. Get the figure now. Is there anything of importance over here? Oh, security lock. I think that's where it is. That's probably where it is. Can we get in here? No. I wonder where the dancing figure is. Anyways, let's go unlock this. He's coming back. Run. Can the keepers walk into here? Yeah. Oh, fudge. Don't turn this way. He turned this way. All right, no problem. We just got to sneak behind him. Easy enough. Now we got to grab this dancing figure. There we go. That's all the pieces for the music box. Yup. And we got to go stealth. All right, keepers are over there. Wait, where's where's the other keeper? I could have sworn there's a keeper down here. All right, never mind. Whatever. And let's get this music box all fixed up here. Find a spot to place the music box. We'll find a perfect spot. Maybe that bench over here? Yeah! Here goes nothing. Great, that- they'll be distracted. Good! Now I can power this down. And do the security lock. And let's get back here. Before the keepers get us. Haha, <laughs> you can't get me because this it's too tall for you. And I can crouch. Oh, a chair in the corner. Were they a bad person? And it looks like we are in the north wing. Hello, Betty. There you are, thank goodness. Oh, I know, so tragic. Wilson's waiting for you downstairs in the laboratory when you're ready. But first, can I get your help with something? What? What do you need my help with? Normally, I wouldn't ask this of a guest, but... Oh, with all that's happening, I can't sneak out and get things like I usually do. Do you think you could pop round to the farmer's market back in town? No. And find me a few ingredients. What? We're running quite low in the kitchen. And I was hoping we could all celebrate tonight with a lovely supper. Oh yeah, sounds I'll nice. Take a moment if you go by train. Up to you. <laughs> no pressure. Ooh, we can take the train. Yeah, we unlocked the subway. And the crazy thing is, the ink demon can come through the mansion now. But I don't think he has the guts to do it anyways. Yep, here it is. Okay, let's get in. Hey, they got it in Spanish over here. And it looks like we're here. Illusion of Living. And this loops right around to the street exit. Isn't that neat? Scary thing is that we can get killed by the ink demon again. Alright, let's go down to the street. Oh, we got bad guys here, of course. Oh, the ink demon's coming. Hide. Ruh row. I don't have anywhere to hide. Never mind, I do, I do, I do, I do! Oh. Alright, what do we need from the farmer's market? Retrieve Betty's ingredients. We got this for Betty. But I think I'm gonna try to find the last thick ink canister. I think it's all the way in Heavenly Toys. Yeah, I think I was right. There's a security lock right over there we haven't touched yet. Let's get up here. Now we just gotta find the code. 
Listen, Angus, let me explain a thing or two about working on a team. If you expect me to take care of your work while you take five, you're crazy. I even had to lock up the shelf from last night because you had already gone home early. It's your responsibility, not mine. I won't be the one to take the fall if you do that again, you lazy good-for-nothing. Next time, I'll let the manager call you out understand, your annoyed co-worker. All right, two, five, one. Two, five, one. Yeah. Now we've just gotta work our way around. What do we have over here? An upgrade, let's go! Our last one. Alright, stamina it is. Now we are strong. Now I guess we make our way back. Alright, waiting for the train now. Hopefully the ink demon doesn't get us. Oh, I heard it! Never mind! Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, please. Please. There we go. And we're back. Now we can go give Betty her stuff. So nice to have a fully upgraded Audrey. All right, so Betty, let me give you your stuff. You're a miracle worker. Oh, truly. Thank you. Oh, I only wish there was something I could do for you. Like what? Oh, wait. Preparing I dinner? I spotted something in the fountain yesterday. Don't know what it's for, but you're welcome to have it. Okay. You better go see Wilson downstairs. He's been waiting ages. Let's go check what this is about. What's in the fountain? What is this? Looks like a cup or a mug. Oh, it's frowning. Oh no. Why is it sad? All right, let's go see what's up. Where's this dumb laboratory at? Oh, it's right here. Deep breaths. <gasps> here we go. Wilson knows my purpose. Bunch of stairs. What the heck? What is this? Brightly colored ink. It's green. We've got more color. Whoa, we've got RGB going on over here. Wow, Wilson really hooked up the place with RGB. Let's open the door. Whoa, isn't this cool? Wilson knows how to be a gamer down here. We don't normally get to see color in this game. So it's something nice, something fresh for this world. All right, let's go through the tunnel of RGB. <laughs> wow, Wilson really got some gamer lights. And a color door. Interesting. Oh, back to black and white, I guess. Wow, hello, Wilson. I did. How are you talking to me if you're... Okay. Well, I guess our fate is sealed. Let's go. Thank you for coming all this way. You're welcome. The ink demon is a formidable foe. Oh yes, he is. Destroy such a monster. He must be dethroned. Oh. Humiliated. Why? Why humiliate him? Now I've been working on something that will do exactly that. You can't Cast kill him, Wilson. The demon, and put a new deity in his place, stronger, more powerful, and controllable. Together, we just need to unleash our ultimate weapon. Come, let me show you my creation. All right. Ship ahoy, Dudley. Simple but elegant. Interesting. A treasure, powerful beyond anyone. So you just created your own OC. Demon will fall, and we can have peace at last. It could work, but. It sounds risky. How will we control him? We don't want to repeat Joey's mistake. No, we don't. All of the factors must be perfect. I like that crap. The right design, the right science, and... What? The right soul. Whoa! Are you crazy? Senile old man. This is revealed, Audrey. This is why you're here. With your soul inside him. My creation will live forever. Mm, I don't think so. You're insane. Come now, Audrey. Part of you knew this was your path. No. Leave yourself behind and ascend. I thought you said we needed to save your father. I thought you had a plan to send me home, to make everything right. I lie. Of course you did. My father is beyond hope. Perhaps you know him. Nathan R. What? Owner of Archgate, industrial genius, business type. Then why are you a janitor? For years I've lived in his reaching shadow. 
He always had time for the grand creatives of the world, the doers, as he called them. He knew only the best, the biggest thinkers. How could his lonely son ever hope to compete with that? But now, thanks to you, I can. No need uh -oh. to struggle. My signal prevents you from using those devilish powers of yours. I disabled all of them. And more importantly, it keeps the ink demon from getting in. He can get in now. I I deactivate all your devices, bro. Live again as a god. I don't think so. No, not this time. Oh. Oh, <laughs> bro! Just got he just got ripped to shreds. There's a leg. There's an arm. Oh my gosh! Good thing it isn't blood. Oh my gosh! There's his eye. That is disturbing to look at. What is this? The ink machine. Ink machine. There, there's a. Ver he was working on a version two of the ink machine. What is this? A hot dog? Why is this a memory? <laughs> Why is this hot dog a memory? Okay then. All right, where do we go now? Subject accepted. That means he got put in his own creation, didn't he? It took a soul? I decided to go for a walk this morning. Took a little stroll down to the park. Enjoyed the warm sun for a while. Found a quiet bench. Even grabbed a hot dog. It's been ages since I've done that. Tess would kill me if she knew I've been off my diet. When I got back to the office, I stopped by the animation said hello to the troops. My gosh, they're getting younger every day. Either that or I'm just getting older. It all made me realize time is moving on. The hard struggles don't seem as dire as they used to. Life has other value. I think I'll go home early today. Maybe I'll even pick up a hot dog for Tessa. I see the hot dog was a memory for Wilson of his father. I see. Let's keep walking. Oh, I hate this feeling. Ah, oh, I don't like this hallway. It's such a creepy area. And there it is. There's the ink machine. And it's glory. Let's walk in. You were birthed oh. from the darkest shadows. Or... It's time to ask the question. What? What's the question, ink demon? Well, let's pull it anyways. What is this doing? Uh oh. We started up the machine. And our powers are gone. Whoa! Whoa! What's up, ship boy Dudley? He's a crab. Boy mixed with the crab. Let's power down. Oh, I love this beat. It's, this goes so hard. Oh my gosh. Break this open. Come on. You know you want to. Is that Wilson inside of you? I think that is. Oh! There we go. Got that one. Oh, we need to charge our jet pipe. Where, where do we charge it? Oh, right here, right here. Alright, let's deactivate it. Power it down. Oh! Oh, we can one-shot him. <laughs> let's go. Now, this is some boss battle music. Ow. Done smacked me. Break this open. Hey, one to go, one to go. This boss is so freaking cool. Just look at him. Look at him. He looks amazing. All right, destroy this, please. Come here, Dudley. No. No. Quit throwing stuff at me. Throw your anchor. Hey, there you go. And now we can power this down. 
Oh my, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Go, out. Out of here, get out of here. Are they healing us with us killing them? Oh boy, he's after us. What are you doing? Yeah! Ow. Yeah, that is Wilson right there. Attack! Come on, buddy. You're, you, charge at me. Wow. Ah, there we go. Oh, he's swinging his anchor. Ouch. Yeah, smack him. Right in the gut. So freaky, bro. Smack him again. Yeah. Ouch. Come on. Wham. Bam. Okay, I think I need a heal. Swinging his big anchor around again. Ouch. All right, we need to heal. Uh oh, I can't get up there. Oh! Smack him! Yeah, we got him! We got him with like one HP. And banished Wilson. What's going on now? What are you doing, bro? Bro's lost control now. Oh! Oh! Ooh. Oh no, he's ripped our legs off. Oh, Bendy! Yo, Ink Demon, let's go! Get him! Get him! <laughs> there we go. That's how you do it, bro. He really soloed somebody two times his size. Oh, we've bled out ink everywhere. Oh, there he is. It's the end of the road, Audrey. You can't walk, you can't run, you can't hide. Yeah. Might as well at this point. Well, that's very soothing. No, I can't be. Really? Give in, Audrey. Take his hand. Wow. We're beast. We're a beast now. What's happening to me? There's always a choice. Joey! I know you're in there. Deep behind that evil face. Inside somewhere is my little girl. My Audrey, my greatest creation. I'm scared. I, I don't know what's happening. The past doesn't define you, nor the present. In the end, all those years ago, Joey Drew finally succeeded. He created life. But Audrey, you're so much more than that. You were his family, his daughter, my daughter, 
and I love you so very much. Be quiet. The rich is Ooh. Remember who you are, Audrey. Remember. <laughs> oh, he's got the reel. I know you're in there. You don't have to be this anymore. It's never too late. For the end? That's what a dream. That's not enough. You have to have. Oh no! That was a little brutal. What do you think you're doing? Is Audrey taking control? I'm starting over. Ooh. This is the end. Yes, it is. Here we go! Oh, we look so cool! Oh, I love this form. And now we have control of Beast Bendy! So let's smash this door! Yeah, break everyone! Kill everyone! Wow, he got some vocals! But you're technically destroying yourself, right? Oh, that's why they're so hostile towards us, because the Lost Ones are bendies now. That's why they treat us so poorly, right? I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm making sense over here. Alright, let's break through this wall. Come on! Oh, I love this so much! Break all the vats of ink through here. Ah, oh. bam. Uh oh. Will I? Will I die? Oh, let's go, Alice with the Tommy gun! Allison! Audrey, is that you in there? Come on, keep moving. We'll get you through. Tom, make us some trouble. <gasps> Steve! Big Steve! Alright, you got it. Be let's beat these guys up. Oh, it feels so good. Let's just enjoy the music. Porter! I will kill all of you. Sammy! Yes! Thank you, Sammy. And he died again! Oh, poor Sammy. Ah, uh, so cool! Alright, next room. Yes! Die! All of you! Imagine a game where you become the boss. This is this game! 
So good. Oh, so good. Alright, last door maybe? Another door. Or a wall. Yeah, let's break through it. I like how we're just tearing through right through the studio. Uh-oh. Need some help? Henry! You came! Some battles are worth fighting for. Even a million times. Come on. I found a projector up ahead. Run for it. You got it, man. You got it. Oh, I hope so. I hope the cycle continues. The end. Alright, Bendy, are you ready for your demise? Well, we'll be back. I'm sure of it. Let's go. The end. My father once told me that just because we're born of darkness doesn't mean we belong to it. We're always free to choose. And here, at the very beginning, there's a choice to make. My father's cartoon world was now mine. To rule, to watch over, and to protect. I can make the cycle more bearable for my friends inside. But as for me, I'm the first of my kind. Born of ink, but living in flesh. Joey's world is escaping into ours. What? So, what's next? What? Who? Bendy's real now. Enjoy the credits!